Yes, this is gaming with uh, Jim. You can go and uh, follow them. But I cannot follow everyone. Because then I will follow 1000. I will, I will not. Hello, I will get lost in my email. In the 600i again. Why, oh why, the 600i? And there's only one answer. Actually, there, there are two answers. The first is because you guys keep maligning this beautiful, perfect, ludicrous ship <laughs> it's, it's exactly what it needs to be for its intended purpose which is luxury it's no i think i uh, selected run one hello everyone i'm law of the west and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Freelancer Max, which is a medium freight carrying variant of the Freelancer C. Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today, I wanted to do a very quick tour of the 600i Touring uh, and then the Miss Freelancer variants that are currently in the 3.4 ETU build. Um, no, I don't know what happened. And welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today, I wanted to do a very quick tour of the 600i Touring uh, and then the Miss Freelancer variants that are currently in the 3.4 ETU build. Um, because, I mean, people like to see the pretty ships. Pretty ships. Look at the paint jobs. Oh, pretty. Yes, the 3.4 is not out yet. It will come right, next. Let's start with the uh, Freelancer DR. This is the expiration variant. It has these like greebles at the front and antenna arrays. Um, and basically it's gonna be used for scanning down points of interest and having a long range. And that's one of the, the, the ideas of this ship. It's got a, a very long operating range so it can explore uh, without having to go back to base for a long period of time. It's got those extended fuel tanks on the rear. But, uh, broken weapons at the moment, so we've got the Attrition and Dominance series of weapons, the new Hurston Dynamics weapons. Obviously those uh, ones, those size threes at the front are pointing the wrong way, uh, but it is PTU, so um, it's something you can expect, uh, the issues with. We've got quite good maneuverability actually, um, all the freelancers do at the moment, but we'll uh, look at that in, in a bit more depth once we have the new flight model in there. But let's have a look internally uh, in a second. Yeah, there's extended sort of like fuel pods and fuel intakes there. Get out of the chair, have a look at the ship. Oh, depots. Bam. And so the front sections of pretty much all the freelancers are internally identical. Um, they've got their actual cockpit, and then you've got the bunk beds, you've got the, um, the ladder to get out, and the airlock. Um, and then, typically in a normal freelancer, you'd walk into the cargo bay. But, uh, and well, you do do, uh, I said do do, you do do this in uh, this one as well, but then the rest of the cargo bay is segmented off. Now, this is sort of like the more docking collar area. We can open this up to space. But then we'd go through into a different type of room. This is interesting, this room, because I'm not entirely sure what it is for. Uh, I suspect it's a quantum fuel slash fuel refinery to increase or help increase the range of the ship. You can see it's got the no smoking signs on it and that sort of stuff. I'm assuming that you can um, extend the range of the ship so that it can operate um, potentially permanently without having to go back, which would be cool and great for an exploration ship. It might also have um, some like processing abilities, um, some more computer slots and that sort of stuff so that uh, you can crunch data and scan stuff down faster, that sort of stuff, but it is some form of, you know, refinery quantum fuel -y room. That's what it looks like anyway. Uh, and then it segments into another section, which is the rear cargo bay, which also leads onto the turret up there. 
uh, and then all the component storage as well, which will be physicalized at some point. And then we have the Max. So the Max is sort of like the more cargo hauly variant. Um, they're all pretty multi-role, admittedly, because the Freelancer series just do that. Uh, but this has got extended cargo bay, basically. It was supposed to have a load more engine and engine power, so it's... I think this is the one I need to buy, or the Expedition. That sort of functionality isn't really in-game yet. You'd be able to make the most out of cargo hauling, in my opinion. Um, some longer-range stuff, when you actually start to see the cost of quantum fuel come in and actually be a much bigger part in the game um, and that sort of stuff and lots more commodities then I think we'll uh, we'll see ships like this come into its own. The ship looks very much like it's from Titanfall, uh, the sort of white and orange um, colour scheme. Let's, uh, let's jump out of the, the chair. So as I said, the front section's all pretty much the same. Got that segmented cargo area now. Um, Docking ring up here, boom. And then we walk into a large cargo area. So where the Duh has the sort of like quantum fuel refinery or whatever that is. Now uh, this just has a large cargo area. Woo! Woo! If you want a large amount of cargo in a freelancer but still have most of the functions, if not all of the functions of the normal freelancer, then this is the choice for you. Big cargo, big, big money. And then we have the Miss. So this is the gunboat version, but basically it's a missile boat. Um, it is the more military version of the Miss. And if you wanted to focus more on combat, this is probably the freelancer for you. Look at its rear. original idea of the ship was that it had reloading missile bays. Um, so let's... The reloading missile bays, I mean self-reloading. So that it has a missile system that it can load itself while in combat from its cargo bay. Just like all the other freelancers, the ripple's the same. And it's got this segmented section from the docking collar. And then, oh, what do we have here? Is this some sort of reloading missile system? Well, probably, but it's not implemented properly yet, so, you know. But expect this to basically um, be able to have a load of missiles in, which you can then fire off in combat. But it might be quite expensive to run the ship because of that, because I'm assuming missiles are going to be pretty pricey. And then we've got uh, the rear section, the components, the smaller cargo bay of the normal freelancers. If you want a missile boat, this is certainly the ship for you. But basically, there's not too much going on with the new freelancers, in my opinion. There's a, a few subtle differences. Um, we'll see the internals are a little tiny bit different uh, based on the version you've got, but it's pretty modular. Like I feel that these ships could be just modular variants of each other. Um, obviously, the hulls are different, but you know, it's not much, not much change there. So this is the module for the 600i touring that makes it different from the Explorer. And it's basically this room, which can be swapped out in the future. Um, it will just be an item that you can swap out effectively, like, like a weapon, like a system. Uh, but it is a whole room. And it is pretty cool. It's pretty luxurious. Got a nice little uh, room here for a guest, for a VIP. And hopefully it will lead on to VIP missions. We've got a big old shower and a toilet, sort of like bathroom combo. temperature changes and that sort of stuff. We've got a bed there. And you've got a load of other little, little bedrooms in the same fashion. We've got those four crew quarters basically here. And then down 
down a spiral staircase into sort of like a lobby area, relaxation area. The little moon door. People can't afford all this other. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. This is the extent of the uh, of the change of the ship. The explorer has those exploring extras. So it's got those two consoles that you can uh, scan stuff down with and do other exploration type gameplay when we have it. And uh, has a an air. Yes, that's a nice one part uh, we was watching. Landings. Yes, that's five subscribers. That was not much. That was Steven the Geek, new channel. Yes. I give a support, five subscribers, that's not much. Now we got six. Yes, but I don't think he's not talking. Some uh, record video. And they're not talking at all. But let's have a look. Yes, you have a very powerful computer. I can see that compared with my laptop. What ship it is? It looks like have a very big cargo.
Yes, he's not talking, but uh, the video quality is very good. So, yes, I'll just write. Uh, yes, if you see a video like this, and we have less ten subscribers, I think you should just uh, subscribe, just support. You can always unsubscribe later. So. Yes, good quality in video, video, but no voice to exp. Yes, but you can make uh, videos without voice, of course. I don't have a good voice. What ship? Ship is it looks like a very big cargo space. I am in game two. Monko Spakes Gigs Yes, I'm not sure what my name in, uh, in game is yes. Have a good day I have a sub Greasing from John. Yes, he did a crazy landing. Yes, but he does not say what. Uh, What she is, but the, you can see that he has a very fast computer. You can see how clear the numbers is. You can barely read my numbers. Yes, the text here. I can even read it on my uh, video. Yes, and like this too. You can see this numbers very clear. So I pay like $2,300 this Asus ROG Gamer Laptop and I did not buy the i7 because it was like 7 800 small. I have to buy on credit but I should buy the i7 it have a little bit better graphic card with a 2 GB more memory so I should have buy that I remember to do that next time. But that was just seven, eight hundred dollars or more. But uh, seven, eight hundred dollars more, uh, you have to pay in two years. That's not so much. That will have be, I don't know, fifty less ten dollars more every month. I have to pay. So I have to do that next time. No, that's not true. That would be like thirty dollars, thirty or forty dollars more every month. So that's not less than. Will be like thirty-five dollars or forty dollars. I have to pay every month more. I did not do that because I'm low on money and I have to save uh, when I can save a little bit. Yes. But it not help much when you are not explaining what you're doing. But it was a good uh, yes. We was watching this group of uh, players, multi crews that was flying to Perston. We can watch a little bit. 
Planetary landing, did you see that? No insurance, no money, that was a long And did you see this? Try to update Then you can see uh, what Yes, this one Land safety law will without getting blown up. Hi, where may I send you a bouquet for flowers? Yes, Danish commercial. Flower, prisa, all inclusive. Oh, King Congo is online. We can watch a little bit what he's doing. Yes, just started. 40 minutes ago Because I did add a special little sound But that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> Yes, say uh, hi Hi all And have a Have a Good Lives And a good day. Yes. Hey, exports. Yeah, if you tell me what your handle is, I'll add to you or, um, on the PTU. Hey, Mongo TV. Hey, you have a good day too, man. Dude, you have no idea, Mongo, how many people, they, like, I, I think four or five people have now contacted me about your channel, because apparently you're holding a camcorder and watching the stream. I mean, it's fine by me, man, and, like, I, I have no problems with it, as long as obviously you don't claim the content to be your own, but, <laughs> but it's kind of funny, there's so many people contacting me about you, but yeah, don't worry, buddy, man, it's all good, it's not bothering me. It doesn't seem like you're doing anything weird, so. But yeah, I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Yes, I just rake up the phone. I am. Oh wait, I'm going to the wrong place. 